Now as usual if you've been watching all my other videos on vectors I would always encourage you to draw a diagram. Now we've got three points then A, B and C and relative to the origin we've got their position vectors A being at 8, 13, minus 2 B being at 10, 14, minus 4 and C being at 9, 9, 6 and you'll see you can just put them anywhere okay so just put three dots on your page it doesn't matter where you put them I've also labelled the coordinates of A, B and C you'll notice same numbers obviously as they are in the position vectors and we've got the line L that passes through A and B and we've got to find the vector equation of the line L. So essentially how are we going to do this? Well when you're trying to find a vector equation of a line L you need to work out the position vector of any point let's say a point like this one on the line and we always call it R okay R represents the position vector of any point along your line. Now can you remember the vector equation of a straight line? Well if you can't let me just quickly remind you the vector equation of a line is given by R equals A plus TB R is the position vector then of any point along your line A is the fixed known point on the line and B is a vector parallel to the line and T is any variable scalar. It tells us to get to a point we've got to go up to a fixed point on the line and then any number of these vector B's. Okay? So there's the vector equation of line. So to get this line here what we're going to need is our direction vector a vector parallel to the line. Now there's several ways that we could do this. One of the vectors we could take is AB say or could take B to A or any multiple of those vectors. It doesn't matter. Well what I'm going to do is take the vector AB in this example. This one here, okay? So how do we find the vector AB? Well essentially we've got to go what, from A to O and O to B which is minus OA plus OB or essentially OB minus OA. That's a very standard result so you should really know that without as I say having to go through this A to B is O to B minus O to A. Standard result you always go from O to the last letter minus O to the very first letter. Okay, but hopefully you can see it here anyway. A to B down there minus A O sorry minus O A and then up there plus O B. Okay, just got to fill this in now. What we've got is O B is 10 14 minus 4 and then we have to subtract O to A which is 8 13 minus 2 and if we do that what we end up with is 2 1 minus 2 so that's our vector AB if we wanted the vector B to A it would just be the negative of this now for the vector equation of the line L we're in a position to get it so let's just put therefore the equation of L is okay and what is it? Well we need the position vector of any point on the line that's just going to be R and is equal to a known point on the line. Now at this point you've got the option of either taking A or B. It's up to you. Let's take A. If we take A it's going to be the vector 8, 13, minus 2 and then we have plus a variable scalar quantity which in this example here is called T but you can use any letter you like a lot of people use Greek letters so we could use say lambda instead and then we need the vector B which is a vector 
parallel to the line and we've chosen AB here so AB is going to be 2 1 minus 2 2 1 minus 2 as I say you didn't need to pick this as your starting point you could have picked quite easily this point here B so if you had done that R would have been equal to 10 14 minus 4 and we can use another Greek letter say let's say mu okay and then we've got the direction vector you can take 2 1 minus 2 again 2 1 minus 2 you don't have to take 2 1 minus 2 as I said before you could take 4 2 minus 4 you could double this vector it doesn't matter you could change the direction of it you could halve it okay as long as it is a multiple of this Okay, well there you go, two versions of the equation of the line.